hello today I would like to show you the device that I'm currently working on and as you can see or maybe you cannot you might be familiar and recognize that we've got over here a drum and this is a VHS the VCR because we've got not only a able ability to play but also record and on my right we've got something modern which is a DVD player so this is a quite interesting device because that was like the latest VHS in in term of general when they were phasing out so you could buy this device and you can play your new DVD technology but you've got also a backward compatibility to use your VHS collection tape so two devices at once look absolutely amazing and I'm pretty sure that this device was expensive of course back then because it have a six head and that give you a better picture and I believe that six head was also giving you more sharpness and when you click on the stop button you can you can pause and have a steel frame I believe that on the six head player you've got a better sharpness but don't hang me if I'm wrong that what I I remember because I didn't use this device for a quite long time and I just picked this up just to basically remind me when I was using them and let's go to the to the problem and there is a very common problem we've got a very loose belt on this tray and we are going to replace that so when I've got this unit it was completely switch locked and I was unable to open this so what you are would like to do you would like to open this and you would like to I recommend you finding the the gear that is uh, rotating by the pulley and I recommend you just using your finger rotate and eject that way just just a little bit I'm not saying that this model have it but I found that some have that they have some kind of locking mechanism that was preventing you from pulling this and when you are rotating this device the motor it locking something as you can see when you go over here as you can see that part is going up please see that so the motor is doing like that two things and you don't want to pull this before it's ready to be released so that's just my my tip for you the best is always to emulate the how the belt would move this I think that the tiny belt I've got a collection of them so I've got other options to choose from but I'm going to try that one because it's not that beefy but clearly it's not that bad let me mount this okay we got it and the, the best way I found to check them I'm going to power this on let's try does it resolve the problem and it's on it looks like we've got no disk which is okay eject yes and what I would like to do I would like to hold this with my hand and I'm checking the amount of force if there is not enough force you can you can by just one your finger stop it prevent it from moving and you can see that it's sliding that means that it's too loose you have you should have some force 
some force on your on your finger then the belt is okay so I'm pretty sure that that one is doing its job and will be a very nice so let's take a look or I can show you how looks like the feeding of the tape but because that might be interesting for someone so let's see how this looks from the mechanical point I've got our tape and let's try to fit this tape and let's see what's going to happen and as you can see it's over the drum there is actually the video head spinning very fast and there should be a audio head that looks like the audio head just because of of the wire and shielding so I'm pretty sure that that will be audio part and of course this is the the video and yeah so not that impressive I'm a little bit disappointed and the problem is I don't know where is the eject switch let me okay so the eject will be a first one does it eject yes it's eject. okay so my phone just died and I had to stop recording and let's see feeding the tape from the other side maybe over here will be more interesting maybe there will be more interesting view for you let me feed our tape and as you can see it's playing really nicely and where was the eject? the eject was on the first button and this is the process of ejecting as you can see working really nice and the interesting part that I would like to share with you is here I've got a movie this is a genuine movie and I remember that I was younger I had a VCR and mostly I was recording from a broadcast TV and I remember that VHS have a terrible quality that's what somehow was stuck inside my head and today I put this tape because the VHS part was uh, working fine I did a little cleaning of the head but it doesn't matter I was blown away of quality of this video and I put this on like uh, a big TV flat uh, TV screen and this have a really good quality I was absolutely blown away that VHS tape was so good I think it's have like a better quality than a lot of movies that I watch on the video CD not the DVD but the video CD and this looks quite similar to to the DVD experience so if you've got a like genuine movie recorded by the factory not by yourself of a TV the VHS have clearly a very good quality that's something that I, I recommend you to try yourself because that's a very interesting experience of course I cannot show you this because they will block my account because that's a movie and they don't want anyone you know, to showing you that type of things so yes you've got you, you see a quick fix you see an interesting story I hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye